Over her many years as a successful leading lady in Hollywood, Meryl Streep has lived in some beautiful family homes. Not only has she owned places on the East Coast in none other than New York City, she also has a luxury residence on the opposite coast in Pasadena where she currently lives, and today we'll check them out. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Meryl Streep isn't just any celebrity, she's an icon, even if she doesn't always feel like it. Known for her roles in hit films like Kramer vs. Kramer, Mamma Mia, The Devil Wears Prada, and so many, many more, Meryl is so extremely famous that she is one of the few people in the world where you can use either her forename or her surname and people will still know exactly who you're talking about. As one of the most beloved and critically acclaimed actors of her generation, Meryl has earned 21 Academy Awards nominations alongside three wins. She's also one of the most consistently highest paid actors in the world, routinely earning as much as $20 million a picture. Over the years, this has afforded Meryl the opportunity to earn a net worth in the astounding range of $160 million. Of course, when you have money like that, odds are you're gonna end up living like an icon too, and that's exactly what Meryl has done. Alongside her hubby, sculptor Don Gummer, Meryl spent $10.13 million in 2006 on an astounding penthouse situated deep in the heart of Tribeca in New York City. More than a decade later, these two would purchase a residence on the West Coast, spending $3.6 million on a mid-century home in Pasadena, California. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and today we're looking at the properties of Meryl Streep. Don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Fresh off of one of her most popular and acclaimed performances of all time in the 2006 film The Devil Wears Prada, Meryl and her husband made the move to New York City themselves, where they picked up this stunning Tribeca penthouse for just over $10 million. Meryl and Dawn would live here for over 10 years before eventually placing it back on the market for $25 million in 2018. Situated on a full floor in what's known as the River Lofts Tower, when this beauty got listed, Meryl felt such an attachment to the place that she wrote a little blurb explaining her connection to it. I have gardened under the stars on hot days and sat by the cozy fire while the snow piled up on the terrace. This has been a great home for us and I hope another family can now enjoy it as much as we have. After taking a look at this place, I can't imagine how that wouldn't be the case. This property is almost 4,000 square feet in space and was designed by renowned architects Sao and Macau. To access the home, you use a direct elevator entry that deposits you into a beautiful skylit entrance gallery. A few feet away from there is the living room, complete with Meryl's aforementioned wood-burning fireplace and some awesome floor-to-ceiling windows that allow for not only ample lighting, but breathtaking views. With its open concept design, the living room is open to the dining room as well, and you should really take a second to check out that cool chandelier that's hanging above Meryl's dining room table. It looks like something out of the Wizard of Oz, am I right? Meanwhile, the high-end Italian kitchen is outfitted with state-of-the-art appliances like a sub-zero refrigerator, two ovens, a six-burner cooktop, and a Bosch dishwasher. It's also got a pretty sweet butcher block island right in the middle. In terms of the office area, it's simple but contemporary shelving and a wooden desk really enhance the vibes. In the well-stocked media room, there's a wall-mounted television accompanied by a central audio system, Lutron lighting, and details like those Brazilian walnut hardwood floors and custom door screen. All of that and this place also comes with four bedrooms, three of which are designated as guest rooms, as well as five bathrooms. And one last stunning feature, the fact that it's surrounded on three sides by a massive 10 foot wide terrace from which you can keep your eye on the city unfolding beneath your feet. Meryl and Dom would live in this amazing home until around 2017 when they picked up their newest abode on the west coast. Eventually, after having this place on the market for over two years, the home would sell in 2020 for $15.8 million, or about $10 million less than what Meryl was originally asking. 
asking for. Yikes. That being said, at least it's still about six million more than she originally paid for the place. So how about we move on to LA and check out Meryl's home in the place that loves her more than any other. Considering her phenomenal 42 year history in Hollywood, it seems only fitting that Meryl would pick herself up a home in Los Angeles with as much of a legacy as her own. First built in the late 1950s by architects Whitney Smith and Wayne Williams, this 3,087 square foot mid-century home hadn't been placed on the marketplace in over 50 years before Merrill became its newest occupant. Merrill and Don used a trust to complete this $3.6 million transaction, and they actually scored themselves a pretty decent discount considering the fact that the original asking price was around $4.13 million. Located on one of Pasadena's most prestigious streets, the home sits at the end of a winding, tree-covered private driveway, and upon arrival outside of it, you'll immediately be greeted by lush greenery, which helps bring a very zen-like vibe to this noticeably low-slung estate. When you first step foot inside the home, the Japanese inspiration for the place is evident, with the spacious front foyer featuring marble flooring and its very own skylight. A short distance from there in this open concept main space is the airy living room with its numerous glass facades, not to mention those wood planked soaring ceilings with accompanying black beams that help bring a real sense of dimension. The home boasts three bedrooms alongside three bathrooms, all of which come with their own windows and skylights to allow for maximum natural light. In fact, the house is purposefully designed so that you can view those stunning San Gabriel mountains in the distance no matter what room you're standing in. Speaking of bedrooms, the master bedrooms feature more of those wood ceilings, which helps add warmth to the ambiance with the white walls. The room is also split into two spaces with a sleeping area and a sitting area as well. Meanwhile, out back, the entire space overlooks a patch of land that was once a horse corral and boasts a stunning tree-framed view of the infamous Colorado Street Bridge. Filling out the rest of the nearly two acres of land is a detached office slash studio that Don uses for his art projects, as well as a swimming pool which is hidden behind a series of boulders. Since scooping this place up late last decade, reports suggest that Marilyn and her hubby have spent the majority of their time here. And if you ask me, it makes a lot of sense. Meryl's been at the acting game for so long now that she's probably finally thinking about slowing down. At least a little bit. I mean, despite her remarkable accomplishments, she is only human after all, and eventually we all need a break, even Meryl. She once told Style, after each film I would do, I would tell my husband, okay, that's it. I'm not gonna work anymore. We should find a place to retire. Well, I think she's finally done that, but Meryl's no doubt spent far too much time in Los Angeles to ever consider something like retiring to Florida. So instead, she's found herself the perfect spot in the heart of the city that appreciates her more than any other in the world. And considering her reputation, that's really saying something. All right, guys, I think we'll bring this Meryl Streep house tour to an end right there. Be sure to let me know what you guys thought about Meryl's homes in the comments down below. Anything about them surprise you? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram and tell me which celebrity homes we should take a look at next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.